People think I don't like Mr. Ramsey. That is not the truth. Just because I do not agree with the man on every topic does not mean I do not like him. I think that he's selling you to make himself rich. That's just, that's honest to God truth. The guy is selling you videos. He's selling you courses to get you out of debt while getting you into debt buying his damn course. But back to the topic, do I think that you should pay off the smallest credit cards first? Absolutely. Do I think you should start with a savings of $1,000? Absolutely. Do I think that you should pay off your primary residence? I actually do think that you should pay off your primary residence. Do I think that you should depend on the value from the Zestimate on Zillow? No. Do I think though that you need to pay for rental properties in cash? Absolutely not. That defeats the complete and entire purpose of purchasing rental property. Let me explain to you why. I go out and I buy a rental property for $300,000. Let's just say I bought a $300,000 house in Smyrna, Georgia. Got a mortgage on it. My payment is probably about $1,000. Let's just use $1,000 because that's good round numbers for me. I'm not a lender. I'm a real estate agent for God's sake. It depends on the interest rate, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Depends on the county that you live in. But work with me on the example on 123 Banana Street. Your payment's $1,000 a month. It's a $300,000 house in Smyrna, Georgia. You're gonna get somewhere between $1,500 and $1,800 a month. That's gonna pay your $1,000. It's gonna give you positive cash flow of five to $800 a month. If you're smart, you're gonna take that five to $800 a month. You're gonna put it in a little savings account that's connected to 123 Banana Street, LLC. Okay, so you've got 123 Banana Street, LLC, the operating fund. You've got 123 Banana Street, the savings fund, okay, you got them. You're taking that extra cash and putting it over here, and over here you're covering your mortgage because you're gonna need a hot water heater, a dishwasher, an air conditioner, a roof at some point in time. If you take the positive cash flow and you put it over here in this little slush fund, you've got it for something. Don't go thinking that you can spend it. Okay, but Sam moves in. Sam is paying my mortgage payment. He's paying down the principal. He's building equity. Sam stays in the house or Sam and John and Julie and Bob and Susie over the years rent that house out. If I pay a little bit extra, one principal payment a year, one extra, I'll reduce the life of the loan eight years. So in 22 years, I have a paid off asset that I never ever put any money into except the $60,000. It's appreciated and I have something that's completely paid for. So why in the world would you pay cash for 123 Banana Street, the rental property?